Hi everyone, today we're talking about the ownership of digital transformation in the organization, five tips to create a collective culture of digital innovation, and the top five trends shaping the digital transformation in 2022. The debate is over. Maybe there wasn't a debate in the first place, but I just want to drive this point home. A panel at this spring's MIT Sloan CIO Symposium provided sound advice about who owns a digital innovation in an organization. And without a question, enterprises or scale-ups and startups in some cases benefit from a consistent focus on digital innovation. So Gartner's 2021 CIO Agenda Survey documented that CPGs that increase funding for digital innovation are approximately three times more likely to be leading performance than laggards as compared to their peers. And I've been in sales tower, marketing tower, and information services tower at different companies at different capacities. And this debate is ever ongoing. Apparently, there's no clear answer who owns a digital innovation or digital transformation. It happens to be overlapping between IT, digital and business leadership, and depending on the global presence and weight of each market, the center of gravity might be positioned differently. But at the end of the day, as CPGs, we have to win for our clients and consumers and our colleagues at the same time. And we must come together as a team to accomplish that. So let's talk about five tips to create a collective culture of digital innovation. It is essential to develop a technology roadmap, but let's not miss the forest for the trees. We must look beyond software, hardware, tech products, and align our technology roadmap with measurable business objectives and customer and consumer expectations. Failure may offer some useful lessons, but not more than learning fast, because usually there are multiple interrelated causes underlying. A study by MIT Center for Information Systems Research shows that learning fast by designing initiatives to ensure learning and empowering teams by hands-on pilots or project collaborations lead to actionable insight. So cross-functional teams can quickly start and stop pilot programs based on what they've learned. City planners have a longer term vision with big picture thinking and vision for the entire business and market landscape. A traffic cop would have a laser focus on local projects with inward looking technology. And we need both, but we should increase the number of city planners in our teams. We need more and more digital workers on the field, at the front office, even on the bench where we consistently improve the technical skill set of our existing workforce. Technology teams are not strictly in the IT department anymore. Sales, marketing, finance, HR need some level of understanding of technologies like machine learning, demand forecast algorithms, product recommendation systems, employee attrition analysis, etc. Our digital innovation initiatives must balance and thread carefully how humans and machine work together. Human know-how, emotional intelligence, and a personal oversight are essential for success. Also, there is a risk of bias towards automation and machine learning could lead to broader equity gaps. When we continue to train our workforce and keep adding new skills to their personal arsenal who are doing the job today, they will help us to automate and remove friction in the framework, increase the efficiency that serves the greater good of the company and the client and consumers. So our colleagues feel that they're valued and they play an important role in the growth and the success of our company. And finally, let me share top five trends shaping digital transformation in 2022. Digital transformation is about having the right technology solutions in place, but it's also about being prepared to keep the business afloat when those solutions in place fail. If you combine low-code tools and professional developers, you can tackle the higher impact digital solutions that will give a competitive advantage to organizations. Not only that, also, no-code solutions provide an opportunity for cross-functional team members to make smarter decisions without confronting a steep learning curve. IT budgets are going to increase. That's quite straightforward, I guess. Just-in-time analytics will come to rescue your supply chain. You shouldn't hold your organization back by the gravity of legacy model, system, and the approaches. CPG and other manufacturers will need to embrace innovative new solutions in a bit to make just-in-time data analytics a reality for their operations. And at five, data will be more important than ever for your customer experience. It's no longer good enough to just be available for customers anymore, says Neil Keane, the field CTO of Smart Communications. Customers wanted the same kind of personalized experiences 
they were used to in face-to-face -face interactions. Not a one-size-fits-all approach. How is your organization doing? Are you also going through a digital transformation, whether it's planned or forced by the pandemic? Take care and I'll see you in the next video.